Okay, I'm going to show you how to install and download Tor Chat. First of all, this is the website you go to to download Tor Chat. This is their download page, so copy that, do whatever you got to do. For you that don't know how to copy stuff, highlight it like this, right click in the blue, copy. Now go and start your Internet Explorer. Go up here to the address bar. Left click, it highlights it. Right click, paste. Hit the arrow to get it going. Then it brings you to GitHub, which is the download for Tor Chat. This is the Windows version, it'll be the first one up. See it there? That's the first version. I'm not sure, but I think this Pathion version here, I think that's for Mac users. You have to look into that a little bit more. All right, for Windows 7, if you left click on it, it's going to pop open this thing down here. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. Don't just click Save. Click on the Save As. And then that's going to pop up a save as window you see and then what I would do is if you have a thumb drive I would put it on one of the thumb drives so I already have one we'll do mine on the desktop so it's the same thing as if you have a thumb drive uh, go to the desktop um, I already have a tour chat folder on there but what you can do if you don't have one, you see this new folder button up here. Click on that and it'll pop open a new folder. You can type Tor Chat. I'm going to put Tor Chat 2 on mine because I already got one. And uh, click open. And click open again. And make sure it says Tor Chat up here, Tor Chat 2, the folder that you're putting it in. Make sure it says, uh, where'd I go? That right there. And then click save. There you go. Now, if you see down here, it starts the download. It's probably already done because I got pretty quick. Download complete. Now, what you want to do is open folder. See that? Open folder. Then it's going to come to this. Now I have WinZip installed. For people who don't have WinZip installed, I wonder if I can disassociate that. Oh, that's tricky. You double click the file. It's going to pop open like this. You want to highlight all three of those. Hold on, I got way ahead of my. Damn it. All right, got ahead of myself. Let me shut everything down in the back. Before you double click that, find your tour folder that you made. Make sure you know where it's at. Then double click on this. It's going to pop up in another folder window. Then you want to highlight all three of these by left clicking, holding the mouse button down, and dragging it. Left click, drag over, highlight, let go. With all of those highlighted, left click, hold the button down, and drag it over. See how it highlighted the Tor Chat 2? And then just release the button, and it should copy them all into there. And then there they are, right there. So now shut down all the windows except for the Tor Chat 2 window. Once that's up and running, you go to the bin, double click. Then it's going to go to Tor Chat. Now, this is what I would do if I was you. Right click on it, scroll down to Send To, Desktop, Create Shortcut. Then it puts it on your desktop down there. So now you can go back up to your Tor Chat window, shut it down. Come over to this, and if you have Windows 7 or Vista, you want to right click on it and then run as administrator. 
It should pop up. Could take a second. Um, being anonymous and encrypted, things take a little longer to connect. It can take up to 30, 40 minutes for your computer to configure the connection properly and to connect to another Tor Chat person, I guess. I don't know how you say that. Oh, forgot here. Forgot the Windows is going to ask you this. Uh, do you want to blah, 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 let this program run on your computer? Blah, blah, blah. Make sure you see that. Click yes. And then uh, sometimes Windows, because they're tricky, they'll let, do that yes thing and then they'll say, okay, well, then you have to run the program again. So you actually have to double click Tor Chat again now that Windows knows that it can run on the system it'll run there it is see it's a little complicated to get it up and going that's why I made the video because I had a hell of a time doing it myself but there you go it's up and running this here is you this is your Tor Chat ID um, if you want to invite somebody your friend brother or something like that you want to right click R-I-G-H-T right click in the middle of the screen in the middle of the chat window this thing here right click add contact and then you put their tour chat ID in this box here right there this is your tour chat ID right here and though your friend brother mother whoever will have one similar to it but not you get that number and you put it here It looks something like that. You put their name in there. Something like that. Click OK. Yeah. Put one too many letters. I'm just making one up. Click OK. And there you go. There's his name. Now all you do is double click on his name and it'll pop up in the actual chat window that you talk with. And you see how it says delayed? That means it hasn't connected with uh, my make-believe brother who doesn't exist. But like I said before, when you first connect with a person through Tor Chat, it can take 30 minutes for those two connections to configure. That has nothing to do with your computer or nothing. It's actually the Onion network that the system works in is routing uh, through 3,500 thousand routers, something like that, to get it all configured. So you can be encrypted and anonymous, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't have anything to do with your computer. It's the network getting itself together so they can com complete the connection between you and your brother, mother, whoever. Well, that's it. All said and done. Oh, one more thing. Sometimes Windows Vista and even Windows 7, when you very first start Tor Chat, it'll look like that. Why? I don't know. Let's put your cursor on it makes the double arrow like that and just drag and open it up why it does that I don't know it just does it on some systems I've hooked up my friend and it did it on his we just couldn't figure out why it wouldn't start and when we found out it actually was is just hidden up in here and we weren't paying attention and we couldn't see it because it was minimized like that so if you look for that just in case it don't work like I said you gotta when Windows asks if you want to run it on the system, click yes, wait a few seconds, and then start it again because Windows will just say, okay, you can run it, but it won't start it for you. So there you go. Oh, one more quick one. For some people who get uh, crazy with the double clicking, make sure you only have one of these green guys. See that little green guy right there? Make sure you only have one of him in your system thing, customized, whatever down here. If you have two, you have to shut both of them down and start it again. It will not work if two of these little green guys right here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Right here, that guy there. If two of those are in there, it won't work. You have to shut it down start all over. Well, that's it. Have a nice day. Hope it helped. Bye-bye.